Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the sixth grade concept of additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number seven of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to figure out a statement that best describes the relationship between x and y, and we've got two different equations. Let's open up our graph draw feature, increase it, and let's make that in tra transparency a little bit stronger so we can see what's going on here. So, I mean, that's the, this is the perfect example of, right, we've got an additive relationship right here. Additive, you see that word add right there at the beginning. So we are adding x plus 8. And this is a multiplicative relationship because we are multiplying x and 8. So in the first one, we're adding x and 8. In the second one, we're multiplying x and 8. Now we flip the order here because typically we would do uh, 8x. It just makes more sense than x8, even though technically they both do the same thing. We always end up putting the number first. So let's just take a look at these statements. One of these is going to be correct. Three will be incorrect. In y equals 8x and y equals x plus 8, the value of y is 8 more than the value of x. OK. Well, 8 more. Hmm. When we're looking at 8 more, that really is describing addition, right? So if something is 8 more than something, that's 8 plus something. So in this equation, sure, y is 8 more than x. That's what this means. x plus 8 gets you y, so y is 8 more than x. Absolutely. But not on this one. That's multiplication. So we're not talking eight more. We're talking eight times more or eight times as large. So I like it for the additive equation, but not so much for the multiplicative equation. And then look at B. B does the opposite. So in both of these equations, y equals 8x, y equals x plus 8, the value of y is eight times. OK, so eight times. Now that gives us the other one, right? So in y equals 8 times x, absolutely. That's exactly what that means. y is 8 times x. You take your x, multiply by 8, you get your y. But not this one. This is your 8 more. This is the plus 8. OK, so if we could somehow merge these two right here, we'll find our answer. And I bet you that's going to be one of our options down here. Both c and d look a little bit longer. But one of them is probably going to be correct, and I bet you the other one's going to flip it. So let's read carefully. OK. So in y equals 8x, the value of y is 8 more. OK, 8 more is multiplication. Excuse me, 8 more is addition, but this y equals 8x, that's multiplication. So I don't see a match there. And then in y equals x plus 8, Right here, this is your addition, obviously. It shows it right there. And then look at this, 8 times, OK? So I don't see that match there. So let's read carefully. It's not A, it's not B, it's not C, but it should be D. If not, we've got a problem. All right, so in Y equals 8X, the value of Y is, OK, look at this, 8 times. And that's what this means. When you have a number next to a variable, the implied operation is always multiplication. So we have a match there. 8 times, 8 times. And that's why, look at that x. I'm, when I write these x, I keep meaning multiplication. But that's why we don't write an x, because it also can be used as a variable. And then in y equals x plus 8, that's addition, obviously. It's shown right there, 8 more is addition. OK, so that matches. My answer here is D.